Dumbbell clean is one of my favorite ways to get your heart rate up and get your total body working. Um, I really love teaching these to people because I feel like when you get that unlock moment, you're like, wow, this is such a great move. Um, a play, good place to start if you haven't done these already is a high pull in the dynamic form. So uh, we'll first start with a high pull just to get that first motion down and then going to the dynamic high pull just to get that first part of the movement down. But with this, um, what you do is you start with your feet underneath your hips. So you don't want to be like full and nice and wide like you're about to do a sumo squat. Kind of like in a squat position, um, but a little more narrow. So you want your feet underneath your hips, palms facing your thighs, shoulders are back, okay? So you have your hips a little bit loaded here, meaning your knees are bent and your like, booty's like ready to work. What happens here is you're gonna take a baby hinge. So just ever so slightly. This is where you're gonna load your hips. So loading as far as like, meaning you're, you're setting everything strong through your core and your hips. Your palms are facing your thighs. You aren't doing an RDL. You're just loaded. So it's like lock and load, locked and load, okay? And then from there, you're going to give me triple extension. If you've never heard of that phrase before, what that means is your ankles, your knees, and your hips are all going to be extended, AKA straight. So I'm going onto my tippy toes, my knees are straight, my hips are straight, I'm not leaning back, I don't have my knees bent. Everything stays nice and straight as I dynamically bring my dumbbells up and then I flip them. So I'm using a significantly lighter weight than I normally would on a clean to show you what to do. So typically you do something heavier once you get the form down um, to get yourself challenged with this dumbbell or with this exercise. So your palms are facing your thighs, slight bend in your knees, hinge, triple extension happens right now. Triple extension, all, simul simultaneously you're gonna high pull and then clean. So watch me here, this is how the full move goes. Slight bend your knees, locked and low, triple extension, high pull, clean. Okay, so that's where it gets tricky. The dynamic high pull actually just cool, looks like this. So what happens is you get to know that move, you're just gonna turn your dumbbells over and snap your elbows towards your rib cage. So high pull, dynamic, high pull, right into that um, elbow snapping in towards your rib cage. And I really love this um, cue where you try to crack a walnut in your rib cage. So slide bending your knees, high pull, ha, crack your walnut right in your rib cage. So right between your armpits. So again, it's a dynamic high pull and then you clean your dumbbells right here. And then you gotta do like an eccentric hammer curl to bring your dumbbells back down and then do it again. Uh, it takes practice. If you're still having a hard time with this move, again, I would go back to the dynamic high pull, get that down. Uh, and then if that's still really challenging, go to a regular high pull just to get that uh, motion down, to get that high pull. Um, but the dynamic part is the thing that I think most people get tri uh, tripped up on. So again, it's like you're, you're about to jump almost. Think about jumping, you're, but instead of going forward, you're transferring your weight straight up. So your feet are just right underneath your hips and you just get that little loading here. And then, pop. I want you to pretend like there's glue on your toes and the ball of your feet and you can't actually go forward, okay? You're just going straight up, okay? So you're like doing this Michael Jackson thing, except if Michael Jackson had his knees straight instead of his knees bent, you know? So your, your legs are extended, um, your knees, your hips, and your ankles. Um, again, it takes a lot of practice. I would use a lighter weight to start to get that motion down, but then once you get it down, move quick. That's what cleans are all about, is for power and getting your fast twitch, twitch muscles to work. So get the motion down so you can be explosive with it to get your heart rate up and get those fast twitch muscles working.